I'm glad you mentioned like what the defense is showing, you know, kind of their base or their foundation on that side of the ball. Um, because, you know, we're talking about your versatility and how many different positions you've played over the years. And I really want to show fans and, and break down uh, how difficult that is, first of all, to do, because it starts in, you know, with the film. It starts with your studying and learning multiple positions. But more importantly, one solid protection like we see on the screen here, the 72-73 protection, you know, depending on what position you're at and depending on what front they show you when you get to the line of scrimmage, your assignment can obviously change. So walk us through learning the different assignments for each of these fronts because, I mean, there are only, what, eight different types of fronts shown here, but obviously there are a lot more that defenses show. Uh, at the NFL level. So how do you learn that? Is that just straight memorization? Do you use, you know, flashcards? Like what's your process to learn multiple positions when you have so many different assignments at different positions? Yeah. So that's a good question. So the way we run our offense is a lot of code words. You know, it really is a lot of memorization and given where I'm at in my career being in the fourth year, really in not the same offense, it's not gonna be the same offense we ran last year, but very similar and a lot of terminologies might be the same, mm -hmm. uh, right. but a lot of it's just repetition. You know, you just got to do it. You got you got to get you know live reps in practice mm -hmm. and walkthroughs. You know, I, me I mentioned live reps. We don't get a lot of live reps in like you know during a game week. You know, you have a limited number of reps, and you have to make the most of each rep. And so that's why walkthroughs are so important at this mm -hmm. level because it gives the opportunity to take the blow off our bodies but at the same time, get on the same page communication-wise. You know, in my career, I got the opportunity to play center early. You know, I really played tackle. I was the backup tackle my rookie year, but um, I played some reps at center in practice. And I think my first preseason game as a Bill, I got – I played center. Mm -hmm. And so I had to learn the offense pretty quickly, especially when I, I got traded right. over uh, from Philly to Buffalo. I didn't have much time. I had a week to really learn the offense and play center in that, in that first preseason game. Mm -hmm. And so really once I got a great understanding, once you get a great understanding of center, you get a good understanding of guard. Once you get a good understanding of guard, mm -hmm. you get a good understanding of tackle, tackle, tight end. And so once I really honed in on that center position and, you know, learning what I need to do on each play and following my rules, everything else kind of fell in line in terms of, you know, center, guard, tackle, tight end. Right. And and you mentioned some of that practice reps and how you don't really get to obviously practice uh, all the positions uh, during each practice. But during a game week, um, what would you say like the percentage of like, let's use last year as a template, you know, when you played a lot of your, your you know, same position last year. Um, what, you know, what type of percentages uh, during the game week uh, were you taking reps at guard versus center versus tackle? Like what percentages would you break it down to? Yeah, I would say I probably got 80% center, 20% guard. Mm. And, you know, I played, you know, both guards in practice, you know, yeah. you know, God forbid someone got hurt. I had to go yeah. in and right or left. Um, like I didn't really play a lot of tackle because we drafted Tommy and Spencer Brown. Mm. And then we also had Daryl Williams and Deion. So right. we had to talk, we had the tackle position covered. Uh, so I really, you know, honed in on that center guard spot, that interior uh, like you mentioned before, it became my home. All right. And uh, I would say 80-20, 80 center, 20 guard. Mm 